Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing well. I am happily preparing to get back with Steve tomorrow and I'm packing. Uh, I'm very happy about it, but uh, the gaining girl did something to me and they know very well what they did. I'm not going to talk about it because it's too much information. But they know what they did. And I hope it makes them happy. Maybe I'll talk. It's too much information. Uh, something came early. Let's put it like that. And I was really having already big plans for tomorrow. Anyhow, back to the point. I know not many people. Now people know and are listening. But they don't know. Uh, my videos that's why I'm recording everything because so that I don't forget it and that you understand why I'm a little bit you know strange at times because my life is not in the normal kind of life I'm not a normal kind of person I I admit to that and uh, in my real life with the real people that I have I cannot I cannot um express myself i have to have always mask on and i know it's not it's not but that's life for me here on youtube i don't have to uh impersonate anyone or have some kind of image i can be my messed up self and and you still listen to me and i don't have to lie to you and i don't have to portray i don't have to portray some uh image not at all and that's what relaxes me and that's why I really like having this channel and that's why I have my fun on YouTube and the thing is I know that in my life things are still going to come and that's why I keep on recording everything because I should have started recording videos like this a long time ago and I have some and I'm bringing them up like I'm bringing up this one from one year ago where I tried to vandalize my mom's car and of course the idea was idiotic Remember, those were the days where I had two, day, two bottles of vodka per day I was drinking. And uh, I also have an image of her pool, of the, not her pool, my, my dad's villa. He made everything. So my mom never worked a day in her life. She worked a few months as she fled from Romania, Bucharest to Austria, Vienna in the year uh, 1982. That's when she did that, and she was a few months there working, you know, what kind of work, and then met my dad, and she was a wife, and she never had to work in her life. And uh, you know, people think because, you know, my uh, I'm spoiled. They never gave me anything. My parents were the nastiest, narcissistic people in the world. Not even that they, that they were uh, shitty as parents and people, that you would think, ah, only child you know probably they'll make it up to her with with they weren't like that with money no they weren't like that the, uh, when I was 13 and moved to Romania to my grandmother they forgot that I existed education I cannot say education they always support my but that's the, because they had to support for their own image you know for their image yeah our daughter is doing university and that's why she's in Romania with her grandmother education reasons uh, let's not get too dramatic it's too early <laughs> in the day for drama but uh, I was trying to to release some anger and I was trying to do things to my mom you know just for me to feel better I know the what condensed cream didn't do much but the, this was in the crazy states that I got to already at th those points. Usually, you know, I have positive content. And, or I'm reacting to food beauty or some crap like that. But I'm going to go now over the street where my mom lives. The woman that has uh, snatched all the inheritance after my father's death during the COVID area. Left me homeless, does not talk to me, ignores me, has no other children, nor family, she doesn't care. And I'm going to put some condensed milk 
on her car because she decided to destroy nature as well not only people and <laughs> much more she decided to cut down a huge tree today that was in her parking lot area and you saw so that's my restaurant and she's right across so if a tree gets cut down obviously the tree has you know that uh, liquid that falls off it i'm gonna put uh, some condensed milk on her car let's go do it Let's go do it. And you know Steve number one. Steve number one, my ex-boyfriend, he watches my YouTube channel. He saw this video and you know what the guy did? He told my mom. He told my mom about it. Can you believe that? I'm telling you, it's crazy. And that's the thing. I'm investing in you guys and in this YouTube because I know things will happen in life. And if I need to cry to someone, I can't do it in my real life because it will ruin my image. And I'm trying to still keep that little image that I've still got. And on YouTube, I don't have to do that. So I can always cry to you and talk to you here on YouTube. That's why I'm investing in this channel. You know, it's like I said, it's my escape from the real world and uh, kind of my therapy. Let's continue with the video. For me, I honestly to say when I, I'm even afraid, I have so many videos and to go look through all of them, it's even hard for me to look through them. So I know that's not good for me to say that that really means that I need therapy and I need help. And I have therapy already, but we're talking like for a longer time. Because she doesn't know my YouTube channel, and it's not like my YouTube channel is very well known. And even if I get caught, what can somebody do? I didn't hit the car or destroy it. It's not like I'm vandalizing. What punishment would I possibly get here for that? She lives right across the street, and she doesn't talk to me for one year. I'm serious with you guys family and we live on an island we're living out of our own home country and she doesn't talk to me It was pointless what I did, whatever, but it made me feel better. I can't over-exaggerate too much because otherwise she'll know that I did it. But, does it give me some satisfaction? Yes, it does. Indeed, indeed. Will there be ants on the car tomorrow? Indeed, indeed. From whose money does she have that car from? From my dad that passed away he gave her everything some things are secured some things are secured family feud i don't even know how to what title to give this video i have to think about it i did take care of some things i do have my lawyer and i did some things but, the, yeah, what i could but not journey. not I as as i should in have a few weeks i'm gonna be gone i'm gonna be with my boyfriend steve and we're gonna get married boyfriend my husband steve. my fiance my Husband. My future and husband, my Steve. New life will start in America. Yeah, Bali new may life in crazy, America in, in the hotel. It's not easy to be three years but tomorrow I'm with Steve. On an island without friends or family. During the COVID times, everything will return back to normal. Peace. So, and then you can see my my mom's pool. Not her pool. Let me rephrase. The villa my dad built. You can look here. And understand uh, that's why I say I don't care for money but how evil the people are so evil my mom only cared all her life was just regards money that's it she ne no feeling no compassion nothing nothing like that and I thought that I had I thought that I have to be the same you know and that's why I was chasing the love and the uh, the recognition from my parents all my life you know trying to prove them look at me i have 
I'm traveling the world and I have a company with China and I'm exhibiting and uh, money, I have money and um, I'm going to make a restaurant, you know, chasing them. For, uh, from Romania, I went, already had Ideal Vent and I went to Austria and helped my dad with the bar, you know. As I told you, I even have some videos on the bar, partying in the bar. I have to look those videos up. They're on YouTube. I even put them on YouTube. And uh, trying to be close to my dad. But that bar business wasn't good for me in my life. It destroyed me because it's... I'm, I like to party. And to, to make money with what you like is not a good idea ever. Lesson in life. <laughs> so I knew when to stop and to quit that. And then I said, okay, let me go to my mom. Let me return to Bali where I had my childhood and invest my money there and make a restaurant. Very nice, isn't it? It's sad that I couldn't use it. But good that she's happy, you know? That's that's what she wanted in life, to, to have everything to herself. And uh, she's alone. She'll always be alone. But the thing is, some people are happy alone. Steve, as I told you, also he can be happy alone. He doesn't need anybody. I am not like that. That's probably why I'm so much with this YouTube now. I'm, I can't be alone. I'm a person I need to talk. I need affection. I need interaction. Uh, you, you better kill me before you put me in without socialization and interaction. Just people are different. Everybody's different. So I shared this with you. And what else do I have to say? No, I like that. That's the thing. I just like that I can be myself. And okay, people can dissect and put me down and say, yeah, do you... Nobody's perfect. I never came here and said, look at me. <coughs> I am. I write about everything and I'm the smartest. And I never did that. But that I point out, <laughs> that I do point out, I do point out. But that everybody else does the same. Just they, they don't have the boss to back it up and say, yeah, I think this way and I'm going to say it. They don't have the boss for that. Hey, everyone, continue and... Continue having a good day. I will continue with progress because tomorrow, you know what's happening tomorrow. Speak later.